My dear citizens of Meghalaya, I feel honored and privileged to address you on this momentous occasion of the 50th anniversary of the Statehood Day. We celebrate the Golden Jubilee of the creation of our beautiful state with great pride and joy and hope. The last 50 years has been a momentous journey for all of us Meghalayans at both individual and collective levels. Meghalaya and its citizens have made a mark on the national and global stage. I also salute our soldiers, athletes, artists, entrepreneurs, leaders, and many unsung heroes who toil every day for the well-being of their families and communities, particularly our farmers and the daily wage earners. In the last five decades, significant progress has been achieved on several fronts. We have seen significant improvement in health, education, and infrastructure. Given the peaceful environment, tourism and businesses have been thriving. We are also starting many new projects to mark the Golden Jubilee. In the last four years, despite the disruption caused by the pandemic, we have been able to build roads, provide tapped water supply to households, increase children's immunization, decrease maternal and infant mortality, and build infrastructure at an unprecedented pace. Friends, I am happy to share that we will be inaugurating several iconic infrastructures in this year of Golden Jubilee. The State Assembly Building, the Shillong International Center for Performing Arts, five-star hotels, the Marriott and the Taj Vivanta, P.A. Sangma Football Stadium, Vajer Stadium, Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, Shillong, IT Park, and several others. We have revamped the roads infrastructure and have aggressively worked to connect the people of Meghalaya. Several roads, which include rural roads, major district roads, highways, and internal town roads are at the stage of completion. This would transform the connectivity of Meghalaya. The prosperity of our state is closely tied with the growth of agriculture and increase in incomes of our farmers. We have been providing zero interest loan through Kisan credit card to relieve our farmers. We are strengthening the cooperative movement in the state through the formation of about 300 cooperative societies with a membership of 50,000 farmers. We are also providing them zero interest working capital loans and capital grants. Through our focus scheme, we are planning to reach all the 4.5 lakh farmer households of the state. Through this program, we are providing a support of rupees 5,000 to each and every farming household. Already 46,000 households have been benefited from this program. We have made significant progress in our focused mission related to the promotion of Lakadong turmeric, piggery and milk. Cultivation areas has increased. Productions have jumped up. Processing facilities have been set up. In just over three years, we have formed over 28,000 self-help groups, which is a five-fold jump from the 5,500 self-help groups that we had in 2018. We are financially empowering our women in Meghalaya. We are a young state with over 70% of our population being less than 35 years of age. We have been concentrating our energies on skilling the youth as part of the state youth policy. Over the past two years, and even during the times of COVID, 
we have provided trainings across hospitality, masonry, and para-veterinary services. Additionally, we are also implementing the largest youth engagement program of its kind. Through Prime program launched exactly two years ago, I can proudly say that over 500 entrepreneurs have benefited from the program. My dear citizens, governance remains the key for sustained growth and development. I believe in decentralized, decisive, and futuristic model of governance. Despite the constraints of terrain and weather, we have been among the better performing states in program implementation and service delivery. I am fully committed and devoted in the top 10 in 10 vision for the state. I want Meghalaya to be among the top 10 Indian states by the end of this decade. And I promise that we will only continue doing the remarkable work that we have done over the last four years. Thank you, Kublai, Mathela, and Jehim.